What's going on guys? So it's about 11 p.m. right now. It's pretty late. However, I'm going to be flying to Los Angeles in just a few hours from now um, to head over for E3. And something very exciting just arrived today, so I thought I'd do a video of this before I go. So last episode, we finished the ultimate gaming desk. And obviously, you can't have a desk without having a... So just before I open this, if any of you guys are wondering if you yourself should get a gaming chair, for me personally, I not only work from home, but I also do all my YouTube videos here and all my sort of general gaming I'm gonna be doing at my computer. Now I'd say on average, I probably spend about six hours a day at least at my computer doing some sort of work or YouTube or gaming. And that works out to be at least 42 hours a week I'm gonna be spending here. Now per year, that's actually over 2,000 hours I'm gonna be spending at my computer. And what's even crazier is if you work that out into days, that's over 100 days out of the year I'm gonna be spending sitting on this chair. So if you guys are spending maybe just an hour a night at your computer, it may not be worth it. But if you're spending a good proportion of your day at your computer working or gaming or whatever, I'd say it would be worth the investment. I have never seen anything so preciously wrapped in my life. Like, look at all this stuff. Look at all this foam and bubble wrap. This is unbelievable. I think I forgot to mention, if you guys are interested in what chair I got, it's a brand called Noble Chairs. I'll talk a bit more on why I went with this brand a bit later on in the video. These instructions are so dark, some of them are actually really hard to tell what's even going on in some of these. <laughs> Guys, it is done. So here's the moment of truth. Oh. And if I did this right, this should Oh. Let's just take a second to appreciate how freaking awesome this chair looks like. I think it matches my setup perfectly. I've got the white uh, desk over here and then I'm going to be having some black peripherals probably. So yeah, this, this chair just fits in perfectly with the setup. I'm really glad um, I ended up going for the white one. There's a few different colours but I think the white one goes perfect in this room. Oh, and these chairs also come with two cushions. One goes down here to support your lower back, which is kind of nice. And you can also get this extra pillow one if you want to, I don't know, have a little nap or something. So if you guys haven't already heard of Noble Chairs, I actually only heard of these guys just a couple of months ago. And um, they were showing off their chairs at Insomnia and Insomnia Scotland. And the guys that were displaying them kind of talked me into this chair because these chairs are actually a genuine leather. And there's a lot of um, racing game chairs, just like this one, that say they're made from leather, but it's not actually real leather. I was actually not even aware of this. Um, you actually have to look out for ones that say genuine leather, because if it doesn't say that, it probably means that it's made from a cheaper, non-authentic leather that's kind of like less durable, and obviously a lot cheaper to manufacture. If you guys are interested in checking out one of these awesome chairs, I will put a link down in the description and you can check out their website. I'm probably going to head to bed just now and get a few hours sleep before I'm going to fly to E3. And I hope you guys are ready, I'm going to have so many videos up over the next few weeks. There's so many awesome games coming out, there's so much news and information for me to cover, so Make sure you subscribe and you guys will be the first to see some of the exclusive gameplay and some of the exclusive reveals that I'm going to be bringing to this channel. Hope you guys have an awesome day and I will catch you in the next video. Yeah!